Hello, my name is Alice Pagano and I am attending a PhD course at the University of Genoa, Italy. This ILSE project video will give you an overview of the skills required during the pre-process for interlingual re-speaking. We continue to build on what you have learned in the previous modules, that is the modules on subtitling, on simultaneous interpreting and on intralingual re-speaking. Interlingual re-speaking cannot be accomplished in a single step. Here is an overview from Franz Pohacker and Aline Remmel's model of the different stages of the re-speaking process. The first phase is the pre-process that corresponds to the phase of preparation for the assignment. The second phase is the peri process in which special attention is given to teamwork and cooperation between the re-speakers and, if any, the editors. This is the phase in which the reformulation from source language into target language and the shift from spoken into written content take place. Lastly, the third and final phase is the post process that refers to what happens after the completion of the assignment. It focuses about areas of, the, of improvement, analyzing the performance. I am now going to give you some time to look at the model and digest it. There are some ground skills that are needed throughout all the stages of the re-speaking process. The socio-psychological skill of managing interpersonal relationships in a professional context and cooperative skills, which are all the more important, especially when working in a team. Let's now go through the first stage in detail and let's see which skills are needed during the pre-process of interlingual re-speaking. The pre-process skills largely correspond to the preparation skills for the interlingual re-speaking assignment. And these skills are linguistic and cultural skills and general world knowledge and domain-specific knowledge of the subject matter. Such skills are employed during the pre-process phase in order to carry out the following tasks. Speech recognition system preparation, thematic preparation, terminology research, and database preparation. First of all, the re-speaker, who has full knowledge of the entire re-speaking process and the speech-to-text speech system, needs to set up the Dragon software voice profile. To do so, the re-speaker needs to carry out a dictation practice to adjust rhythm and pronunciation in order for the software to recognize the words that will be spoken as explained in previous modules 2A, Unit 2, Speech Recognition and Dictation. Furthermore, commands can be customized according to the re-speaker's preferences and needs. An adequate thematic research on the assignment topic will allow the re-speaker to prepare and familiarize themselves with the topic. It is important to understand the specific needs of the target audience of the event and what the purpose of communication is. Thematic research helps re-speakers expand their domain-specific knowledge on the topic, being able to predict some references and inferences about it, and thus reducing the cognitive load during the re-speaking task. Terminological research involves the creation of glossaries and word lists in both the re-speakers' working languages, 
containing occurrences of terms and expressions that they frequently find while gathering information about the topic of the assignment. Finally, the database needs to be trained and fed with such word lists and glossaries obtained during the thematic research. It is important to update the database with new words and terminology in order to make the software that recognize them. The following material in this unit will show you how to deal with vocabulary in multiple languages and train and customize vocabulary in speech recognition software to prepare for a respeaking task. Thank you very much for your attention.